Okay, let's say you're gonna toss a, a ball in the air to uh, your friend that's hanging out the window of the dorm, and you want the ball to just be able to reach the friend such they can reach out and grab it. It doesn't have any residual speed when it gets to them. How fast do you need to toss it? What is this VI that you need to toss it at? And obviously we're gonna have to know a few things. We're gonna have to know the height that the person is at. We're also gonna need to know what is the initial height that you launch it from, okay? So, how do we do this? Well, let's write down some givens, okay? Let's say that the mass of the ball is 200 grams. Let's say that our initial height is basically the height of a person, uh, it's about six feet, which is about two meters. And let's say that the stories are, um, maybe we have, let's see, it's about 10 feet per story. So let's say it's a three-story building. Okay, so that would be 30 feet, which is roughly 10 meters. Okay, and let's ask this question. VI is equal to what? All right. I think we could attack this a couple ways. One is you could go back and use the kinematic equations. That would certainly do it. But there might be an easier way, which is the topic of this next module, which is conservation of energy. So when it is launched, it has some initial energy. When it gets to the top, it has some final energy. Okay. The initial energy is composed of two things, right? It has some kinetic energy, one half m v i squared, but it also has some initial gravitational potential energy because if we're setting our y equals zero to ground level, then it's starting from some height y i. And so we need to include that in the initial energy. Now, when it just gets to the top, and it's no longer moving, right? It just comes to rest as it reaches your friend, then it is all potential energy. There's no kinetic energy left. And so the right side of this equation just becomes MGH. And now we wanna solve this equation for VI. All right, it's not so bad, right? We have M's everywhere, cross them out. We want to get VI alone, so let's multiply everything by 2. If I do that, I get VI squared plus 2GYI equals 2GH. And now I can just rearrange some things and take the square root. And you can probably convince yourself fairly quickly that this is going to be 2 times G times h, and then when I subtract this over to the other side, this becomes a minus yi. And now at this point, I can punch in all the numbers, right? So let's try it. We've got 2 times 9.8 times h, we said, was 10 meters. yi was 2 meters. Let's make a little room, and let's calculate what this is. So this becomes... 2 times 9.8, which is 19.6. I'm going to multiply that by 8. 19.6 is pretty close to 20, right? 20 times 8 would be 160, but it's a little bit less. So let's say yeah, 156. Okay. And that is meters per second. That sounds really fast, right? Why does it sound really fast? Because we forgot something here. What did we forget? We forgot this little square root, right? This was VI squared. So when we write this down here, we need to include the square root. And if I do the square root of 156, that's gotta be a little bit bigger than 12. That's my guess. Let's plug it into the calculator and see what we get. 156. Well, let's do it properly. 19.6 times 8 is 157. So our guess was pretty close. We take the square root of that and we get 12.5. OK, 
Okay, 12.5. I'll put it up here so everybody can see it. VI equals 12.5 meters per second. And that's how fast you would have to toss it up to your friend. Now, let's, let's ask a follow-up question. Let's say that after your friend grabs it, they then let it go, they drop it from rest, and it falls all the way down to the ground. And let's see how fast it is going when it hits the ground. Remember, it left our hand at 12.5 meters per second. When it comes back down to our height, it should be going 12.5 meters per second, but of course it's got to go a little bit further to get all the way to the ground, and so it's going to be going a little bit faster than 12.5 seconds, 12.5 uh, meters per second. So let's see if we can calculate it. In the first part of the problem, we started here, we ended there. But in this part of the problem, we're going to start at the top and we're going to end at the bottom. And we can again use conservation of energy. EI equals E final. EI is all potential energy, MGH. E final is all kinetic energy. It's at the ground. We can solve this now for VF pretty easily. The M's cancel out. Multiply by two, we get two GH equals VF squared. And then I take the square root. So VF equals square root of two GH, two times 9.8 times our height, which we said was 10 meters. 9.8 times two is 19.6 times 10 is 196. So this is the square root of 196. And if you just punch that into your calculator, you should get 14. 14 meters per second, which is indeed faster than we had before. Remember originally we had 12.5 meters per second for how fast we tossed it up. So it picked up a little extra speed on the way down. All right, cheers.